Hello there guys and welcome to a different type of video here on my channel. Today we are going to do a range test and an energy consumption test with an electric car. Now this is not a new thing for me. I used to do this kind of video um, on my other channel, on my um, Romanian channel because I'm from Romania. I don't know how many of you guys know this. I used to do this kind of video on that channel uh, uh, a long time ago and I still do it but most, most of them are not public because they are not all that popular. But I decided to do range test videos for my English audience as well. So this is the Audi Q4 e-tron and this is going to be my first such video with an electric car on this channel. Now I already have a small database of um, results with other electric cars and I'm gonna drop a link in the comment section below so you can see just how well they performed in the past but for now let's talk about this car for a minute so this is the Audi Q4 e-tron this is the 50 Quattro version which means it's quite powerful at the moment it's the most powerful model you can get in the Q4 range so under the sheet metal you will find two electric motors uh, totaling up to 299 horsepower and 460 newton meters of torque now there's one on each axle so that means this car has all-wheel drive um, it also has the larger battery you can get it has the 76.6 uh, uh, kilowatt hour battery hidden in between the axles um, and that's the usable amount of energy you can store in it because in total the battery can store up to 82 kilowatts. So, this is how the car looks like. It was of course rounded off everywhere in order to make it as efficient as possible. The 21 inch wheels are also aerodynamically optimized to make this car as efficient as possible. So now we're gonna test out just how far you can go on a single charge then i have to say this car actually looks really really good now let's step inside for a moment to talk about the interior and talk about the specs a little more so this is how the interior shapes up these are optional s-line seats uh, wrapped in uh, napa leather and they cost around 4500 euros as an option when you get inside the car if you just press on the brake pedal the car will turn on you don't have to do anything it's just, it's the same as you would find on any meb platform car from the volkswagen group from the id3 to the id4 to the eniac and so on so as you can see the battery is currently at 99 percent state of charge i reset the computer the onboard computer so that we can record the results um the car shows an estimated range of 426 kilometers we'll see about that but i do have to point out that the weather is really good today it's not too hot not too cold either so it's 22.5 degrees uh, that will work in favor of the car since this is the first time i'm doing this this kind of video on the english channel i have to explain my testing uh, procedure a bit now Normally, initially when I started doing these, these tests, um, I would drive around town for 100 kilometers at a time without stopping. Uh, that, in my experience, proved to be the wrong approach because electric cars and internal combustion cars as well, uh, but electric cars, because we are testing electric cars right now, they do have a problem whenever you do make some stops some cars have a battery management system that directs energy from the batteries to the interior uh, of the car to warm up the cabin some others have a different way of using the battery power basically optimizing the temperature inside the, um, the battery enclosure in order to make the car more efficient and so on so basically what i noticed is that if you have several stops um, the energy consumption goes up because of all these factors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive this car around town, but I'm going to do my chores while doing it. So I'm going to stop at a shopping mall, for example, for an hour to do some shopping. I'm going to stop at the grocery store to do some shopping and so on. So I'm going to try to utilize this car as 
I'm going to try to replicate the way I use my car daily. I'm not going to use echo mode. I'm not going to cut on any sort of commodity inside, any comfort creatures. Um, so I'm going to keep everything uh, set. Now, since we have 22.5 degrees outside, most likely I'm not going to use the climate control system. Uh, and that, of course, will work in favor of the car, but I can't control the weather. And as you can see in the um, database, I always specify what kind of weather it was when I drove the car, what kind of tires I used, because if you're going to use winter tires, um, the situation will change and so on. After I'm going to be done with the uh, inner city test, I'm going to go outside on a couple of B-roads to see how much the car will um, sip out of the battery on in those kind of conditions. And then I'm going to drive it on the highway at the speed limit to see just how far it can go. We're going to add up all these numbers, do some math, and then we're going to see just uh, how much range you can squeeze out of a Q4 realistically. Um, so as I said, the, the car has a usable uh, battery of 76.6 kilowatt hours. So uh, we're going to do some math considering that figure. Now, let's get going and see what we get. That's it, we finished the test inside the, uh, the city uh, and the results are quite predictable. Now there's an issue with, uh, with the trip computer because last night it got reset. Um, when I went to bed, I had the, da the data, but uh, I wasn't inspired enough to shoot it. The problem is, meantime, the short term memory trip computer reset and I can't really show you the figures, the uh, figures for 100 kilometers covered around town, but the number I recorded last night was 18.1 kilowatt hours per 100, 100 kilometers covered. So that means, uh, considering the battery has a uh, capacity of 76.6 kilowatt hours, you should get around 400, 420 kilometers of range. That would be around 250 miles of range around town. Now, I have to mention that the conditions were perfect. So the weather was great between 20 and 25 degrees Celsius. So it was absolutely perfect. I didn't have to use the AC at all. So you should take that number with a grain of salt because real life results will vary. Now the test was done in one of the busiest cities in Europe. It's done in Bucharest, um, which was ranked one of the worst in terms of traffic. So these would be pretty accurate figures for most people. Uh, now I'm going to go outside the city limit. I'm going to drive on some B roads and then I'm going to hop on the highway to see just how much energy this car um, sips or needs 
uh, in that kind of uh, driving situation. I'll do an update once we are done. That's it, we've done um, a loop around the city on a set of B roads. Let's see what kind of results we got. So, as you can see, the average speed is 73 kilometers an hour. I did 43 kilometers on this uh, loop and the average energy consumption is listed as 15.6 kilo kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers covered. Um, if my math is not wrong, considering the battery has a usable capacity of 76.6 uh, kilowatt hours, you should do about 490 kilometers on a single charge in this kind of um, at this kind of speed, at this kind of of uh, pace. That would be about 300 miles. Now the temperature, as you can see, is 24 degrees Celsius, so it's near perfect for electric cars. That said, we are now going to uh, hop on a highway and drive this car at the speed limit, which is 130 kilometers an hour, and see what kind of results we get. We still have 48% charge in the battery, so it should be enough for the highway, which is about 60 kilometers in uh, length. I'll do an update after we're done. Well, we finished the highway circuit, so let's see what kind of results we got. Now, I need to make some um, pointers over here. So uh, the distance, the total distance is 57 kilometers. We covered it in about half an hour uh, and the average speed has dropped a bit. Uh, when I got off the highway, it was showing 129 kilometers an hour, uh, but I had to stop in order to film. The power consumption didn't change a lot. It was 24 kilowatt, uh, kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers covered when I got off the uh, highway. So these are the numbers I got. Basically, considering the battery has a capacity of 76.6 kilowatt hours, you could cover over 300 kilometers on a single charge easily, uh, around 200 miles if I'm not mistaken. So these results are rather good. They are very much in line with the results I got on the Skoda Enyaq and the Volkswagen ID4. Um, so no big surprises here. The weather was absolutely beautiful, 24 degrees, but I had to turn on the AC at a certain point because of all the sun. So I'm going to drop a link uh, in the description of this video. I have a chart with uh, all the cars I tested before and you can compare the results with this car. As I said, I tested a number of cars before, but I never thought of filming these range tests uh, in the past. So. 
there you have it these are the results i got with the uh q4 e-tron hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did or if you have any questions about the car don't be shy um to drop a comment in the comment section below till next time don't forget to like share and of course subscribe ciao